House Democrats have officially begun the process of impeaching Donald Trump. The six representatives have introduced five new articles of impeachment, all revolving around the assertion that Trump is a danger to America. The politicians say Trump deserves to be impeached for a string of failings. Namely his firing of FBI Director James Comey, who is leading the federal investigation into Moscow's 2016 election meddling, which Democrats say was an abuse of power. They accuse Trump of violating the Foreign Emoluments Clause, which bars public officials from receiving gifts from foreign governments without Congress's consent. He is also accused of violating the Domestic Emoluments Clause, which bars the president from profiting from his office. Finally, the Democrats say the president has undermined two of the country's central institutions. They accuse him of undermining the courts and the press in ways that threaten the health of the nation's democracy. Given the magnitude of the constitutional crisis, there's no reason for delay, said Rep. Steve Cohen D10, sponsor of the resolution. Alongside Cohen in endorsing the articles of impeachment are Democratic reps. Luis Gatia Razil, Al Green, Texas, Marsha Fudge, Ohio, John Yarmouth, Kentucky, and Adriano Hughes, Bell ANY. Republicans have rubbished the claims, with Republican spokesperson RNC spokesman Michael Aaron saying, House Democrats lack a positive message and are completely unwilling to work across the aisle, so instead they've decided to support a baseless radical effort that the vast majority of Americans disagree with. The impeachment plans come after Tony Schwartz, who ghostwrote Trump's 1987 memoir The Art of the Deal, predicted Trump will be out of office soon. The author said he would be shocked if Trump remained in office beyond the end of this year. Schwartz predicted Trump would negotiate a deal for immunity in the Russia investigation in exchange for giving up his seat in the Oval Office. Despite the ghostwriter's strong connections to the New York billionaire and 45th POTUS, he has been a staunch critic of Trump's premiership. He said, the circle is closing at blinding speed. Trump is going to resign and declare a victory before Mueller and Congress leave him no choice. Trump's presidency is effectively over. Would be amazed if he survives till the end of the year. More likely resigns by fall, if not sooner. Related 56 retired generals condemn Trump's transgender ban he is now arguing for collective resistance to the president. Schwartz continued, Trump must be isolated. Resistance every day. The end is near but must keep pressure high. He added, the end game is on Trump goes down or we do. He will blow up the world to prove he matters. We must stand up in opposition every day. The Republican Mavericks' approval ratings have fallen to the lowest of any president at the nine-month stage. Since the transmilitary ban was declared, President Trump has seen a significant decline in support. The poll result makes him the least popular president of modern times, with all of his predecessors having higher ratings at this stage.